Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back, everyone, to TestDemi.com's uh, test automation for beginner course, where we're going to be using Selenium WebDriver in conjunction with Python to get you going in the test automation space. All right, all right, let's jump into it. So we're talking about variables. Variables are pretty simple. We looked at different data types. We look at the uh, integers, floating points, and strings. We're talking about uh, variables. Uh, for example, I can write uh, a code here and say this is my first variable. Okay. All right, so what you want to do here is uh, you can now pass in a value. We can do an integer, so we can say 1. Uh, we can do a floating point. We can do 1.0, and we can do a string. We can say this is the number 1, right? We can do this is the number 1, okay? And regardless of the uh, actual data type you pass to the actual variable, the variable is stored. So one thing you want to keep in mind here, just to understand uh, variables some more, actually, part of me, this plus sign is erroneous, that's why Python is throwing the error, so here you go, um, is that Python stores whatever value you have here on the right, it actually stores it in the variable on the left that you name it. So this variable can be named anything, you can call it um, my food <laughs> variable, okay, you can call it whatever, right? All right, so whatever is on the left is actually stored to the actual pi, the actual variable that you assign, right? That you have, right? And another thing you want to keep in mind: this symbol here, or this operator, it's called the assignment operator. If you remember when we we're looking at um, integers and arithmetic operators, when you have two equal signs, pardon me, um, I need to hit the shift there. So you have two equal signs. What that means? There you go. So when you have two equal signs, what that means is the uh, equal operator. Right, where you're looking at Python, but when you're talking about variables, you want to use the assignment operator, which is pretty much the equal sign. So that, don't get that confused, right? Especially when you're starting off, it's easy, it's easy to um, forget and um, not understand that this is the assignment operator. So you're assigning the value. So you're assigning the value on the right to your variable on the left that you created, right? It's also called initializing. So if I want to create a, a variable, uh, say one variable, right? Uh, we just call one variable. And just say assign it to the integer one. So this, what what this is doing here, you're saying that you've now initialized this variable called one underscore variable. Okay. So those are just a few things from a terminology standpoint. So you can sound like a professional and somebody that has the actual lingo uh, in the uh, automation development world when it comes to uh, Python or any other programming language. So here, you know, you can either say you're assigning a variable or you initialize the variable. And you so and the way I like to think about it, guys, just one more thing on this initialization and assignment is, for example, if you go to uh, if you get on an airplane, uh, anything besides Southwest and shout out to Southwest, great airline. But I want to use the example where you're looking like a seat. Seat assignments, right? If you ever booked an, uh, a ticket through like United, US Airways, American Airlines, or any of those uh, major airline carriers out there, a lot of times when you book your tickets, for example, either online or through a uh, reservation agent over the phone, what they do is you pay, let's say, $300 to go from Houston, let's say, to New York City, right? And when you get to the part of the reservation, either online or with the agent, they're going to ask you about your seat assignment. So you might be in coach class, or if you know you're blessed, you're doing good, you might be in first class, right? And they might assign you to seat 13 or 12D, right? D as in David. So that is your assignment you have been assigned. So in this case, if we're looking at an airline example, we say, okay, uh, seat, no, seat assignment, right? Uh, actually, we're going to, no, no, we're not, we're not going to do that. We're going to say Valerie. So we're going to call the variable Valerie, uh, Valerie, and Valerie has been assigned to seat, we're going to say uh, Valerie has been assigned to seat 12D, right? So you can, either that can say Valerie seat assignment. Actually, I think that's a little better, right? So Valerie seat assignment is 12D. So you've been assigned to 12D by the airline. Same thing with the movie theaters. If you go to one of the movie theaters these days, they're using the same technology and the same uh, methodology, right? You go to watch a great movie that's out. It can be one of the uh, Marvel, one of the great uh, drama, ro uh, romance movie, action-packed movie, whatever movie you like. You pay for your ticket. What do they do? They assign you a seat number. So it's the same thing with variables. Variables are used to assign values to a particular uh, uh, variable in this case, that's the best way I can put it. Or you can look at variables as something you use to actually store information in. So just keep in mind, for example, like you have a box, right? And you want to store a value inside the box. But the good thing about variables, I can always change the assignment, right? So for example, let's say you get to the airport and 
uh, let's say you want to change your seat, right? You, you initially, when you booked a ticket, you were assigned 12 D as in David, and which is an L seat on most airline carriers, right? But now you've been upgraded first class. Woohoo, great you, right? So in your first class seat now is three, let's say three F, which is also a window seat. Uh, I just know this. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but anyway, so right now you have, we can say Valerie seat assignment, right? So actually, let's do this. Uh, let me comment this out, right? So let's comment this out. And uh, let's print. Let's print this out. Valerie seat assignment 12D, right? So we're gonna say print Valerie seat assignment. So let's see what Valerie seat assignment is, right? And if your name is Valerie, what's up, Valerie? How you doing? <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's do Python, and we're gonna do Valerie, and uh, and it should be able to. Oh, okay, this is. Uh, oh, here you go. So I hit space, and it continues it for me, right? So you can see it. It prints it out, right? I can also do this, um, right, you can see it printed out because this was the only variable that I passed to this function print to print this out. So I, I passed Valerie seat assignment uh, to the function print that I want to print that value out, right? That was, So this value 12D was assigned to this variable, or you can say it was stored in the variable 12D. So let's say Valerie gets to the airport, right, and she got a, upgraded to 3F first class. So this is now Valerie's uh, first class seat. So what I want to do is notice this. Check this out. So I do Valerie's seat assignment. And what do you think the, the value is going to be now for Valerie? Guess. Well, if you said 3F, you guessed right. So what I'm going to do is um, let me do this. Just follow me, right? Excuse me. Uh, let me just do print so we can make some uh, demarcation here. So it's easy to follow. Uh, let's say, actually, let me do this. Uh, Valerie's, Valerie's, and this is some good thing you guys can do with coding, right? You can, um, you can, um, Valerie's, uh, let's do this. Let me just make this easier. Uh, and these are just quotations I'm putting in. You can put it within your string. Uh, Valerie's first class seat is now, is now. All right, so we're going to print that out. Uh, and we're going to do uh, here, let's just copy this, just follow along, just trying to sh make this a little more realistic, right? So when you're writing some programs or your first code or some code, uh, you'll be able to know how this all comes together. Uh, coach class seat is, all right? So let's do this. So right now, you're going to see initially it's going to show 12D, and we're going to say it's Valerie's, it's going to initially print this, the Valerie's coach class seat is 12D, right? Then uh, we actually now assigned a new variable, which is now 3F. It's now going to print here um, that Valerie's first class seat is now 3F, so which we're going to print it here, okay? So check this out. All right, you see that? So see this part of our code? It says um, Valerie's coach class seat is, you can see it says 12D as in David, right? So now you see she got assigned a new um, first class seat. She got upgraded. So you can see it says here Valerie's first class seat is now 3F as in Frank. So she's been upgraded. So what, what, what are we trying to learn here? What we're trying to learn here is that you can notice that uh, on a very simple way that the assignment variable, in this case for the uh, this variable Valerie's seat assignment, was actually changed. So what you guys can know, you can actually change assignment variables okay it was initially 12d then we now assigned it to new value 3f right so you can change your assignment variables one thing you can also do you can do some um, arithmetic operations so let's just say let's call this basic math right basic math is the name of the variable and we're going to assign it or we're going to store the value in this case one into the basic math variable so you're going to say print uh basic math right and uh, let's do this. Let's uh, so we just learned this, guys. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's comment some code out so it doesn't print it out, right? So it doesn't get in, in a, interfere with what we're trying to do. All right, check that out. So if you notice, it's gonna uh, it, it's gonna comment out everything that's in between these three uh, co uh, double quotations and these three co double quotations. And you can see we we did the same thing above here, right? So we're gonna say print basic math. So what do you think is gonna print out to our screen, right? If you said one. You're right. So simply one, as you can see here, was printed out. Okay. So what you want to do here is you can do some basic math operations, right? So I can do uh, print math, basic math, and we can do uh, plus two. 
what do you think is going to print out? All right? If you said three, you're correct, right? So you can do math operation because Python knows that this basic math variable was basically, you can just say this is one, one plus two. That's It's pretty much the same thing, right? So if you do one plus two, it, it prints three. But as opposed to remembering the number one, one good thing about variables, you don't, you don't have to worry about remembering large numbers or whatever your strings are, your floating points or your Boolean variable values are. You can just assign it to variables. It just makes it easier to program, to actually write code. For example, if you had a number like this, right, how are you going to remember that number, right? So, but if you had a variable, you can just store it into, you know, uh, a, you can just store it into a variable called crazy, yeah, crazy math. Oh, you can just say crazy num or crazy number, right? Let's just do that. And let's now pass it to the print function. Oops. And let's say crazy, crazy number. I have no idea what it's going to be, but it does the math for you, okay? So that's another great thing uh, about variables that you guys can uh, uh, go ahead and learn and practice with, play with it. You can do it. Uh, you can um, assign a floating point. Uh, let's say float. So we can just do float number. Call it float. Uh, float number, we call it 3.0 you know, zero five, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call that number, but just to show you guys how this also works, right? And let me just take this off and we can just call it float number and it's going to print out that value that we passed, right? Okay. Uh, same thing. Uh, you looked at the, we looked at the strings earlier. You looked at integers. You've also looked at floating points. Okay. So now let's, um, let's move on to some, some other things here that we, um, want to, uh, look at here. I want to show you guys basically uh, one more great thing you can do uh, with Selenium. Uh, excuse me, yeah, with Selenium and using Python and variables. So, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, the big picture, all right? So let's uh, let's go ahead and clear all this, clear all this out. And what I want you to do is I want you to um, you can follow along, or um, if you haven't, you can pretty much just do this. Um, just follow me here. Um, you can do this. If you go back to your uh, DOS Windows prop, prompt, uh, you can come here and type in PIP, right? And what that's going to do is going to bring up the PIP, which is a package, man package manager in Python, which you can use to install a variety of Python packages and modules. Uh, so you can see you have the install command. So if you want to install Python, excuse me, if you want to install Selenium, basically, because like I mentioned, Selenium is just... Uh, 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 web is a library, it's an API that's used for automation of uh, web browsers. You can just run this command raw, run uh, pip install, and just do selenium, right? Type in selenium, hit enter, it's going to install selenium, it's, it's real fast. Uh, again, that's pip install selenium. I'm sorry, I kind of went fast there, all right, and hit enter, okay? And once you know you have it installed, what you can do is you can run Python. You can do Python, go into your idle, uh, the uh, interface, the uh, shell. And what you want to do is you can do do this command, do import Selenium, okay? And if it doesn't give you anything back, any kind of error matches, you know you're fine, you've done it right. But if it hasn't, uh, go back and try to see what the problem is. That's your assignment, figure it out. That's how you get good. All right, let me close that out. So if you've already done that, you've imported Selenium, uh, excuse me, you've installed Selenium using the uh, PIP, Python installation package manager, uh, you can come back here uh, and what you want to do is do, uh, I want you to write this command. And again, this is kind of early in the video. This is a little more advanced, but uh, for the sake of so you can see what variables are used for, I want you to run this command. Run from Selenium, right? So what you're doing, we're importing a web driver, which is used to actually, you know, uh, automate the uh, uh, browsers of different web browsers, Firefox, Chrome, and whatnot. All right, so what you want to do is you want to now assign a variable right to this particular module that you want to call uh, this particular method which is a method which is just some fancy code that actually does things to make your life easier um, you can actually assign a variable to it and actually call it so we're gonna do we're gonna call this um, uh, I'm just gonna call we're gonna call this my first uh, I just want to make this easier for everyone my first selenium uh, script okay uh, so that's the name of your variable uh, you're gonna initialize it and you're gonna pass in you're gonna pass in this uh, value which is gonna be web driver you can see it highlighted that right 
which is going to be webdriver dot and when I hit that dot you can see the variety of the different methods right so methods within this class or this module uh, you can see different methods and you can notice the Firefox method and this may or may not work for you and again this is advanced you might just want to follow along because I already have these actual um, drivers for the actual web browsers installed on my local system in this case you have to have Firefox downloaded Chrome and Ed Explorer and that's probably something we're going to get to when we actually get into the Selenium portion of this training but for now you can just follow along uh, go to webdriver.firefox right and you want to put the uh, open and close parenthesis. So what that's saying here is now we've assigned this particular uh, uh, method, this web driver, that Firefox method to my first Selenium script, right? So we've initialized that variable. So what you want to do is you want to actually now call my first Selenium script and you want to now pass the actual um, get method, right? So which is going to be GET. You can see here, you can scroll. Uh, you can see a variety of methods here you can do. Get. And what you want to do is you want to pass the actual website your first website that you want to bring up so we're going to go to www and you want to type in test demi in our case you can type in whatever you want whatever you're comfortable with we're just going to do testdemi.com and it's going to open up this browser with firefox all right but what i was what i also want you to do i want you to also pass the quit method so you can actually close the actual browser right when you're done so that's our first selenium script and i want us to do i want us to comment this so we can learn good good code uh um, habits and I'm gonna say Firefox Firefox browser All right Chrome selenium using Firefox browser so you're just probably gonna say open selenium using the Firefox browser okay and I didn't spell browser right but all right all right so what you want to do here and uh, so it should go ahead and run our first script here and you're gonna notice it it's going to open up the website www.testdemi.com. It's going to open that up We're using the Firefox browser. And there you go. Right? As you can see, it's opening up that particular browser. Right? Uh, let's see. It doesn't. Uh, let's see here. Uh, maybe I didn't put the website in right. Da, 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 da. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's, let's try to fix this. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's see. So it gives an error here somewhere. Okay, it says not a value URL. Testdemi.com. So it's, it's complaining about our URL. So this is a good test case. You can see the error here, and it tells us exactly uh, what the error is. It's saying that on line 10, you can see, and this is a good way to debug your code, guys. It's saying here on line 10 that something about the URL is not actually acceptable. So uh, that's fine. Let's just do something else. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, so I think I know what's going on here. I just didn't put in the correct URL. That was actually right. That was actually my fault. My fault, guys. I goofed up there. Sorry about that. So let's just go ahead and put this in here. Uh, let's see. Here we go. This should, this should work now. I just forgot to put in the uh, HTTP, HTTP hypertext uh, transfer protocol, but now it should be able to open up the URL for us. And voila, we have our first uh, website opened, a web browser opened uh, using um, Selenium WebDriver. Um, and if you notice there, it closed it, right? And the reason it closed it is because we passed this my first Selenium, uh, first my first Selenium script that quit method. So what that does, it actually opens the browser and actually close it. It actually closes that browser. Because now, if I comment this out again, like I mentioned, with that comment field it ignores that. And I run this again, you're going to notice the website should stay open because it's not going to quit, all right? Uh, but it's always a good practice to quit and close um, when you're done. And we'll talk about things later um, as far as some other uh, best practices. Uh, but notice how it keeps the website open there, okay? Uh, so that's pretty uh, much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know the video went pretty long, but I wanted to show a variety of things that can be done using variables in Python. And in this case, we looked at writing our first Selenium script using a variable and the Selenium uh, import module. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed before, be sure to subscribe. Check out testdemi.com for more free video tutorials. And I'll see you, 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 you in the next video. Peace. We're going to holler. We out.